It's spelled K-A-T-O-N-A-H. And it's really about geometry for optimal buoyancy inside, optimal organ function, optimal health, longevity. And it, it really has changed the way that I practice. The current yoga might be um, Indian-based, uh, more influenced by Hinduism. Our practice of Katoni Yoga is influenced by Taoism. So it's a different way of reading the body, of looking at the body. Uh, our teacher Naveen always says that Ananda, which is bliss, Ananda does not have to be curry flavored. So we use a different flavoring for our yoga practice. But it is a practice of yoga that is formal, it's informative, it's a practice that is to teach you to be dynamic, to use metaphor, to be able to use these formal poses to get out of any personal damage that might be holding you in pain or um, not allowing you to really see where else you can go or hear what else you might be able to hear. So the practice is really to inform you for archetypal magic. We do ask a lot of students and um, when we ask them to do something like flip their palms or not spread their fingers, the purpose is not for us to just tell you to do something. Everything we tell you and ask you to do is for a purpose and we will always explain why. For example, when you flip the palm, a wrist is a mini collarbone. So when there's congestion in the wrist, the same congestion will be in the collarbone. Collarbones house lungs, and you want to do all the work you can to have a correct corner that houses the organ underneath. So when you clear out a wrist, you're also clearing out the collarbone, which is housing a lung. So everything we ask that, yes, might be a little different. Well, if you're a New Yorker and you want to have Katona Yoga experience, come find us. We will be teaching. Um, currently, we're in Chelsea. We might be moving a, a physical space, but um, we, we do have our Katona classes. A lot of teachers come to our studio. The most beautiful part of our practice is it is information that teachers can study at our studio and then go off and teach their classes with Katona material in it. So there are lots of teachers that are learning the practice and teaching it throughout the city. If you want it from the source, KatonaYoga.com. But if you want to experience it, keep your ears out because if you hear someone talking about how a wrist is a mini collarbone, it's possible that they're teaching Katona Yoga.